Hey there. In my previous video, I showed how to remove the controller from the all power solar panel to be able to get more power out of it, basically more amps, because the solar controller was limiting, and add on your own Anderson wires. This gives you the option to be able to hook into parallel or in series. However, as a user Mick pointed out, he wrote, I would definitely put something to take the strain off the cables on the panel's ends. You wouldn't want the leads being ripped out of inside the fabric cover. You would have to cut into the fabric cover to get to the point where you could resolder them. Uh, Mick, you're 100% right on that. Uh, it had me thinking about this quite a bit on my uh, last camping trip. Solar panels actually got taken off in the wind a bit and were pulling on the cords and I was worried that it was going to get disconnected. Luckily, the silicone I put in there would did hold, but with enough tugging on that, that would definitely fail. So what I'm going to do is I finally did come up with the idea. So what you're going to want to do is cut part way up the wire, leaving part of the wire still on there, say probably right about here. So about an inch, inch and a half from where they come out and do both of them the same. Then you want to get the Anderson connector, get the little metal pull from it and see about what the depth of it is. So it looks like about a quarter inch there. And from there, I'm going to strip back the wire. Uh, since I have some heat shrink on it, I'm not going to use a stripper tool. I'm just going to use a straight razor blade. Now that I got the ends stripped, I'm just twist the ends to get them real taut. And I don't actually have the Anderson uh, clamping tool, so I'm going to solder the guys on. I'm going to add a little bit of a uh, flux to it just to make my life a little bit easier there. First in there, now I'm just going to want to solder it on. Now I'm just going to want to push the little black connector onto it. All right, and now I just need to do the same thing to the positive side. And now that the two Anderson ends are on, now you're going to want to do is connect the two poles together. Just like so. This next part, we're going to drill two holes. One of the holes is going to be directly there where the pin would normally go. And the other one will be right behind the two Andersons in between the two wires. So let's see, one hole right about there. And make sure you don't drill into your table. <laughs> Now that we have our hole drilled, what we're going to do is we're going to feed the zip tie through that middle hole on the Anderson poles and down through that top hole. And it's going to come all the way out the back side here and you're just going to loop right back in to the other side. Just like so. And now pretty much complete the zip tie and cut off the excess. Now the other thing I'm going to do is on the two ends of the wire I cut off because they already have the Anderson ends on. I'm going to add uh, um, Anderson connectors to those and those will be my short extension cords there for hooking them up into a series or just get more length from the generator. I also purchased a 10 foot uh, $20 extension cord. I already had the Anderson ends made onto it, had some protectors and had the sheath. Um, it's 10-8 AWG wire, which is real thick, so it makes a real good uh, extension cord to try to not, basically try to eliminate any kind of loss. But yeah, this, I've already tested it out, works real good. So you plug directly into the one panel, or I could hook them up into a series connection. But yeah, the cord like that, and now with the zip tie, instead of pulling on the wires, when you pull, it pulls right out. It's pulling on this part, not the wire, so. Thank you very much, Mick. Uh, it took me a little bit to come up with that, a little bit of, I guess, me uh, panicking, and then I went back and I thought about your comment and thought, yeah, I definitely should figure out a way to secure it. And this is this is basically a real cheap solution to that problem. So 
Uh, this should definitely keep the panels uh, safe for many, many years to come. If you're looking for any of these products, the Anderson connector is a solar panel, the extension cord, uh, you can find it all down in the description below or possibly at the top of the comments. Anyways, try to have a good day.